I'm Bruce Walker with TCL. Thanks for coming down to the booth. Excited to see you. And it looks really nice. The, the big trend here at uh, CES is 8K. Absolutely. So and we TCL. Have definitely some 8K. Yeah, we're going to be having some very exciting technologies coming to market for 2019. Really talking about technologies for color, clarity, and contrast. When we talk about color, we talk about quantum dat. Really approaching that high volume Hollywood color standard for rich, vibrant colors over a wide variety of brightness levels. We want to talk about contrast. On our new mini LED backlight found on our TV sets, you'll have hundreds and hundreds of LEDs as well as hundreds and hundreds of zones of local dimming for the blackest blacks, whitest whites on screen at the same time. And of course, we want to talk about clarity, 8K. 8K going from regular high definition you watch right now is about 2 million pixels. 8K, you're looking at 33 million pixels on screen. So 33 million pixels right here. How big is this one? This particular one is 75 inch. 75 is great for 8K, right? Absolutely. We see the market, just the way 4K has really taken off in the world of large screen TV for 55 inch and above, we see 8K doing the same thing for screen sizes 65 inch and larger. So you call it QLED also? Quantum dot or the marketing term is QLED, absolutely. QLED, so it's become an industry standard for quantum dot LED? Quantum dot LED is going to give you the next generation of color space coverage on our TV sets. Is this the same? This, these two are the US markets. Very excited about the fact that also with our TVs for 2019, we're going to have the world's first Roku 8K TV. Roku. So Roku operating system, really the best, the most popular. People just love Roku with all their great streaming channels. It's going to be integrated into our Quantum Dot 8K TVs in 2019. I don't want to talk about a competitor, but I thought it was interesting don't. that Amazon was, was on stage was talking about 8K with, with Samsung. That means per, per, potentially there could be Amazon Prime content in 8K. I, I would imagine, given the adoption of 4K content a few years ago, when we started talking about 4K, there was a lot of doubt in the industry that it was going to take off. But look at it now. You can't find a 55-inch TV that's not 4K, and there's tons and tons of content from Amazon and Vudu and Hulu and Netflix and 4K Blu-ray. We see that same adoption for the content providers along a huge number of platforms to deliver 8K content to our customers. And let's not forget, with AI up conversion, Version, our TVs are going to make traditional 4K or even 1080 content look spectacular on our TVs as well. So, um, uh, uh, I think to get the 4K version of Netflix and Amazon is like two or three dollars. I don't mind paying four dollars extra for an 8K. Version. Absolutely, if, if you want the best content, you're going to have to shell out a, a few more shekels for it. But believe me, the content is going to be worth it, as you can see here. Nice. So this and that. This is this is a China domestic model. Depending on who your your audience is, that's what a, uh, an example. And this is going to be close to what you would be seeing in a, in the U North America market. Is it selling now in China? We've been selling uh, Quantum Dot and 8K in China for several years. Uh, I'm sorry, for Quantum. For quantum. We've been selling Quant Quantum Dot in China for yeah. some time. In fact, we we launched and built the first Quantum Dot TV in the world. Just make sure, 4K, not 8K. 4K. 8K, 8K is no. But 8K is for sale in China, maybe? Not yet. This, this will all be coming for sale, correct? So, any prices on these? Nothing yet. This is going to be coming to the U.S. markets in 2019. Can so, as we, them? Absolutely. The way TCL works in the market, we want to make sure they get the best value, the best entertainment for their dollar. And that's why we're bringing Quantum.Cula to market in 2019 in 8K, because we think we'll be able to make it a reasonable price for them, a great value. I'm just hoping it's going to be less than 8K dollars. I can, uh, let's keep. Let's make sure our customers are satisfied. We're sure of that. All right. Can we walk around the booth a little bit? Sure. And uh, you were talk, you were saying some of the other highlights yeah. over there. So in the U.S., the other exciting news that we announced at CES this year was shipping available um, for pre-order today is our brand new 75-inch 6 Series. You're looking at a TV that delivers an amazing level of technology available for pre-order today. Pick up in a couple of weeks exclusively at Best Buy, coming to other retailers very soon. 75-inch Dolby Vision, full array, contrast control zones, wide color gamut, Roku operating system, all under $1,800 available for order today. Quantum Dot. This is not Quantum, this is our exciting award-winning 6 Series TV set. 6 Series. So $1,800 for 75 inch, great 4K HDR. Absolutely, full Roku operating system, amazing TV set. Um, and then we also were showing, we will have Quantum Dot in 8K, we'll also have Quantum Dot in 4K, which you can see on these other TV sets here. As you see here, we're exciting with our exciting Roku operating system. We're also gonna have our eight series available in 4K television sets coming to market in 2019 with the Roku operating system built in. And, and Quantum Dot. And Quantum Dot. So, uh, um, 
Roku is very popular in the US. It's a, it's my 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 opinion hands down the the best operating system. It's it's ease of use, it's quality, the number of channels that you can get are really second to none. Do you also do Android TV? Not in the US. Not we, in the US. we partner with all the best streaming platforms all over the world, depending on the needs of the market. In other areas, it can be Baidu, it can be Google, it can be Android. In the US, we've made a strong relationship with Roku to make sure that our customers get the best TV experience they can in the US. So this is 75? This particular one is 75. It'll also be available in 65 inch. And it will be a good price. It'll be a, good, a very, very good price, very appealing price. All right. And uh, this is 65 or Yep, this is a 65 inch, correct. 65, 65 uh, quantum inch, dot. 4K. Quantum dot 4K. Quantum so the 8 series you'll be able to get in 8K or 4K. Yeah. So this is the 65 inch in 4K. And uh, it's going to be what's called a, a good price? Absolutely, going to be a tremendous price. TCL, uh, we want to make sure our customers get the best value for their dollar, which is why we've waited until now to bring quantum dot to market, because you're going to see an incredible value on our TV sets. This looks really nice. Yeah. So, let's say 1200, and I'm checking. Uh, we'll see. Okay, uh, so how about some other future stuff to show you over there? Sure, we can do some quick stuff over here. This is, uh, this is not for, yet for release. These are right? just engineering prototypes of technologies that we're showing. Um, you can maybe get a quick picture yeah. up there. But this is a, this would be an example of a, a monitor that we, would be used by a movie maker with a 4,000 nit super nice. bright display. Yeah. Um, very excited here. That you, we, we talked about that mini LED backlight with yeah. incredible contrast. You're going to have that available on our 4K displays and our 8K displays. So having those hundreds and hundreds of zones of local dimming means on these sets you can get the blackest blacks and whitest whites on screen at the same time, very precisely controlled. Nice. So this is very good local dimming technology. Exactly. Mini LEDs. Mini LEDs. So you have hundreds? Hundreds and hundreds of, of zones. Of, of uh, so, LEDs behind them, and then hundreds and hundreds of zones. All right. What is the end-to-end -end video codec? This is pretty. This is pretty exciting stuff. So we we digital everybody streaming. It's it's very very important that customers understand when they if they ever get buffering, they say you know how, you know what's what what internet speed do you have? Do you have the 50 meg service, the 100 meg service? Uh, so the more you can compress this to get a good signal efficiently, the better our customers are. With current H.265 compression technology, you're going to need anywhere around 17 to 25 megabits per second to stream 4K content. With our engineers working on our new technology, you're going to look at compression where you're looking at one, two, three megabits per second. I mean, imagine streaming 4K content over dial-up. And it's not possible. You're not doing 4K in one megabit. Are you Point really? Nine, yes. That's what this is here. That's why we're so showing it. You're like 20 times better than H.265? Yeah. yeah. That's why it's here. This sounds crazy. That, that, that may not be our term for it, but it's, it's a pretty incredible technology. Um, so this could be like an industry standard new codec, right? This is something everybody, everybody need, you either need to increase the pipeline or improve the compression algorithm. So our engineers are working day and night to make sure our customers get the best experience. And this is one way that we can do it. Video codec powered by AI, you get to this low bit rate. That, that would revolutionize the whole, the whole world. It's good stuff. So what do you call it, H266? We don't know, I, I, that's the only name I've seen for it at this point, because again, it's, it's engineering. Um, so, so this right here. This is the All right. Whoa. Some other stuff we can do with AI is we can, we can get better, better picture quality by having the TV recognize objects within the scene that you're seeing. So on this TV set, when it's powered by AI, it knows that right now we've got a lake, some water, lake or ocean, and can adjust the color saturation accordingly. So without the AI processing, look at the picture. With the AI processing, look at the picture. Off, on. More vibrant, more natural colors without oversaturation. So AI is a big, big deal for AI the TV huge. markets? AI is huge. It's, it's not just, just like a... It's, it's, it's AI is smart home. AI is better compression. AI is better picture processing. AI is everything. It's really going to make uh, TV technology much more enjoyable for our customers. What are you showing here? IPQ Engine 2.0. So this is kind of current technology. So where that looks at individual items within the scene, this is general scene recognition to improve the picture quality. So kind of a side-by-side -side, uh, what you're going to get with or without it. And uh, this one? This is some high color volume. So again, engineering prototypes of when we uh, start looking at Rec 2020 versus DCI-P3 for color space. These are some of the things that our TVs will be able to do 
uh, in the future. And the last thing is just a nice engineering example, uh, styling, cosmetic, and performance with uh, speaker on glass technology. So you've got a beautiful edge-lit display, super, super thin with no speakers, because the speakers, the drivers, are integrated into the screen. So this is an OLED? Speaker, it's a, this, this is an LED display. Quantum it's an guy. LED with yep. a speaker on screen? Speaker on screen, yes. Yep. Is it maybe, there's a glass that vibrates? Speaker on screen, not speaker on glass. Yeah, if you feel it, we'll feel the, feel the TV. Oh, I can feel it vibrate. Yep. So I thought this was just something that the OLEDs could do only. No. And uh, you have it right here. All right. So that's it. You now know everything I know. Cool. Thanks, thanks for stopping by the booth. Thanks for showing all this. All right. Time. Thanks, Nicholas. Enjoy the rest of the show.